Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this should be interesting. Today we'll do Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada. Canada. Someone asked. Let's see. So I do have a little bit I can tell you about uh, Justin Trudeau. I did a wiki uh, run through. So Justin Pierre James Trudeau, nice name, born in Ottawa, Canada, uh, uh, December 25th, 1971. He's a Capricorn and he's the 23rd and current Prime Minister of Canada. Now Trudeau is the second youngest Prime Minister in Canadian history and he's also the first child of a previous Prime Minister, of course, Pierre Trudeau. Now uh, Trudeau is uh, predominantly of Scottish and French Canadian descent. In uh, 1972 he was baptized at Ottawa's Notre Dame uh, Basilica and then uh, he lived, Trudeau as a child, lived at the official residence of Canada's Prime Minister from his birth until his father's government was defeated in 1979. Of course, because his dad was what? Prime Minister. Now, his parents hosted a gala at some point at the National uh, Arts uh, Center, which the U.S. President uh, Richard Nixon said, I'd like to toast the future to, I'd like to toast the future Prime Minister of Canada to little Justin Pierre Trudeau, to the, the kid. And uh, Nixon's White House audio tapes later revealed that Nixon referred to that visit as a waste of three days and a trip we needed to take like a hole in the head. So in 1979, when he was eight years old, his nanny also said, uh, was quoted as saying, Justin is a mommy's boy. Now later, he attended college at, this is a difficult name for me, uh, Collège Jean de Brebeuf. I suppose. Maybe I'll put it up there so you can see it. Uh, 1994, he was 23 and he graduated from McGill, thank you for an easy name, uh, university with a BA in literature. And then 98, uh, a few years later at 27, he acquired a Bachelor of Education from the University of British Columbia. And then after graduating, he taught French, humanities, math, drama at the secondary level in Vancouver. In 2002, at 31 years old though, he relocated back to Montreal to further his uh, studies. Now, let's see what's going on for uh, Justin. We're almost uh, there, we're almost finished up here. So now we just got work to 2006, he's 35. Uh, he was appointed as chair of the Liberal Party's Task Force on Youth Renewal at 35. Well, he's very youthful looking, I guess is why. Now, 2008, he's 37. He's um, in a federal election. He was elected to represent the Papua New in the House of Commons. So represent Papua New in the House of Commons. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know my Canadian uh, geography. Uh, 2011, 40 years old, he is re-elected in Papua New. And then in 2011, uh, him and his brothers are given by their father, Pierre, the former prime minister, shares in a numbered trust fund where they receive regular dividends. Also in 2011, Trudeau's company had assets of 1.2 million, uh, it says dollars. And then uh, in 2013, he won the leadership of the uh, Liberal Party. And uh, then there's just a little more here. In 2015, at the age of 44, he was elected to what? Prime Minister of Canada. And uh, as Prime Minister, he undertook uh, legalizing recreational marijuana. Uh, Trudeau's government negotiated trade deals uh, such as the United States and Mexico Canada Agreement, USMCA, you know, remember that, and uh, the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans Pacific Partnership. In 2019, uh, the federal election, uh, Trudeau secured a second term at the age of 48. So let's see what we can find out for Justin uh, Trudeau. Uh, mommy's boy. Hmm. So these are great. These are the Harmonious Tarot. It's another Los Scarabio. And um, again, the um, the box is just, you know, it's a better than normal box. The instruction booklet are interesting. They're in a few different languages. Um, gives you some idea of how to go about the divination. And the cards are really uh, amazing. And so this gives you a good look at that. I actually bought these cards on vacation overseas in a chapel that was in the site of a big castle. So there you go. So that kind of gets them mixed up and we can start to figure out uh, what this is all gonna be about here. I really don't like them reverse, so I try not to let that happen. And um, this gives you a chance to see them. Gives, uh, if you're doing a reading for someone, gives them a chance to interact with the cards and all that is good stuff. Get all the energy in here that we can find to get this going. Yep. 
So, Justin Trudeau, let's see what we can learn a little bit more about this little mommy's boy. Actually, I mean, that's pretty impressive what he's achieved uh, already. So, he doesn't do another thing uh, ever. I mean, he's uh, completely accomplished in anyone's uh, imagination. And you can say what you want. He's the son of the uh, previous prime minister. Still, you know, he's doing the job. and He's doing a good job and he's respected. So, there you go. Um, but what question to ask? You know, this whole thing about these school children, uh, the Indian, um, what do they call those schools? Uh, residential schools uh, for the uh, native uh, people. And uh, they were trying to, uh, you know, make them acceptable to North Americans. And so they, they, uh, a lot of them died from illness or just from being around different people and from being away from their families and loneliness and starvation because they weren't treated well. And now they're finding the bodies. They've dug up the bodies and they find that. And the Pope, uh, you know, Trudeau wants the Pope to, to apologize because I guess they were Catholic-oriented uh, schools. I'm not sure. I can imagine that they were. And, um, and the Pope, uh, I think, expressed a, a sorrow for what happened. But Trudeau, Trudeau really wanted uh, the church to issue an actual apology. So, um, I don't know. What do we ask about that? Trudeau, um, we'll, we'll, we'll ask, will he get... Uh, an apology, an actual apology from the Catholic Church. Let's see how that goes. And uh, and then on the last part of that, there's this whole issue, which I'm not sure about, um, the vaccine situation. It doesn't seem to be under perfect control. I had a note over here. Let me take a look at that. Um, something about the Pfizer for kids is going to go through, but the uh, AstraZeneca has got the blood clot issues. Um, Let's see if we could work all that in. That might be actually too much. That might be for another reading. But uh, we'll just get started and see what happens. So uh, lay this out for six cards of, for Trudeau and this uh, these Indian, uh, gosh, retraining centers almost. Three, four, five, and six. I'm going to sit these over here and let them wait uh, for the last part of this. Uh, the signifier card. So it's going to be interesting to see what we come up with. And this is the uh, the Fool. So this is a new journey. Yeah, so this is, uh, for Trudeau, this is something monumentous for him to overtake at uh, such a young age. And at the, uh, I guess this is maybe the beginning of his second term or in the first part of his second term at least. Um, so these are new beginnings uh, going down this, this road, um, the Fool. Uh, the challenge to that uh, is the world. Wow, that's pretty, that's pretty much because this, this issue has the world's attention uh, on it right now. So navigating this this uh, issue in front of the world. Uh, the basis of, because you're not just navigating for yourself, which you are, because that's going to be your legacy, but you're navigating the uh, the color of the country. Don't, no pun intended, but the, you know, the, the soul of the country. The basis of this reading is the lovers, yeah, finding the right uh, balance of, of marrying uh, these issues together, because after all, what is the past is the past, but we have to find a way to reconcile that into who we are today. So the lovers is perfect as the basis of that re reading. That's what we need is partnerships, uh, los enamorados. I, I love that. And then the um, the past to this reading is the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah. So what does that mean, the Queen of Pentacles, in the past of this reading concerning these kids and Justin Trudeau? So maybe it means he was kind of a a, a lucky fella uh, with with what's going on. And I'm sorry, I don't know my Canadian politics. It's shameful. Uh, we're right here on the border. But and then in the sky uh, for this reading is the uh, Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups really speaks to having to uh, leave something behind uh, that you really uh, would rather uh, have with you. So this card uh, depicts this beautiful maiden, and uh, way off in the in the distance you see, I suppose it's uh, someone who has had to, had to leave her behind for whatever reason. And uh, so that's what's up in the sky of this reading, the passionate uh, feeling of loss. So maybe this is not uh, leaving those uh, poor lost souls behind from so many years ago. Uh, maybe that's what this is about. And then the uh, future of this first part here is temperance. And uh, yeah, it's finding that uh, really angelic, that uh, spiritual uh, and that uh, uh, real world uh, ethical uh, balance uh, over such, something like that. And so I tend to say that these readings move forward and in a direction of positivity. And so I would say this means that he will be finding uh, that balance. Uh, more likely not, that is the final outcome. But for the last part of that is... Um, Gosh, I don't know if I should ask that other question. It's so big. In four cards, AstraZeneca is the is this. Uh, I don't know if they've stopped it completely. How can you ask? Um, is the AstraZeneca uh, worth using? That's what we want to know. Is it worth taking? 
Um, now listen, this is entertainment only. I am just some guy uh, uh, outside of Seattle uh, reading tarot cards. So, you know, don't let this color uh, your decision in any way whatsoever. But I think that's a question I'll ask. Uh, is it worth taking? Um, I had the Pfizer myself, just by chance. It was there and that's what they gave me. Um, the, the self of that reading is the AstraZeneca. Uh, is it worth it to take it? it? Is ah, it's a hanged man. So it's kind of in suspension right now, and it is that. I mean, they are that they have suspended it in several different uh, age groups, and uh, while they decide what to do. So that's the self of it. So that's pretty appropriate. Uh, and that is in the environment of what of the high priestess, so the all-knowing. So yeah, and so you know, it's, it's being studied. We're trying to find out what a piece of this and what piece of that, and how is it affecting everything. We're looking at all the knowledge that we can pull together, the truth and justice. And so yeah, so it seems to be a very honest effort that's being made to determine what to do about AstraZeneca. The um, hopes and the fears then is going to be represented by the Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups is always kind of being offered something that you don't really want, and uh, that's kind of exactly what's going on there, being offered, you know, that vaccine that you're not sure if you want it or not. So what's the final outcome of this whole thing? Um, let's see. Ah, the devil. The devil. Well, at least it wasn't death, right? So it's, it's um, wow, it's the devil's in the details, I suppose. I mean, it just has to be worked out and that's not to say that it's not something that you should take because you know it has saved i'm sure millions of lives i'm sure that a vaccine has saved millions of lives already all over the world and so to presume that you're the one who's going to step off the curb and get hit by a bus is um, then you never leave the house would you so i uh, i think um you know it's just understanding right now let me see if i can pull three more cards and and get something more definitive is it and the question will be asked is it better is it uh, is it better to take it Ask just like that. Is it better to take it? I'm not going to ask if it's not better to take it. Is it better to take it? Uh, three cards. If it seems to be answered at any point during the first card or the second card, uh, well, they won't pull the second one or the, or the third one. So, is it worth it? Okay, the Emperor. That means it's got a ton of value. And I'm going to tell you, it's the end of it. The Emperor. Yep, it's well worth it. It has all the value that you could possibly have. It's the tops. Well, that was pretty exciting. I mean, having a, uh, a runoff there on the uh, final uh, outcome of the last cards. But for the first part regarding those kids, I mean, the, the reading really seemed right on uh, for the Indian kids. It started out as the fool uh, on a journey to try to get this right, I suppose. And it's in front of what? It's in front of the whole world. Uh, so there you have that. And uh, what was at the base of the reading was the lover's card, which is you've got to make partnerships to get this done. And then the uh, final outcome of that was just finding the right balance, temperance, uh, to make sure it's 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 uh, uh, what needs to be accomplished is accomplished. But then regarding the last part about the uh, AstraZeneca, you know, is it worth it? Uh, we get the hang man, which tells us where we are right now as the self. We're studying it. It's in suspension. It's uh, not being used widely at this moment in Canada. And then, but it has been used other places. And then uh, the high priestess uh, uh, is the environment where it is, where we're studying with everything we know. And um, uh, the final outcome of that, I'm sad to say, was the, the devil, which I just take to mean the devil is in the details, and but then uh, being covered by uh, the emperor with all the worth that you could possibly have. So, you know, you have to decide, and that's a clear uh, a pair of cards to tell you that it has to be your choice. It's got plenty of value, but the devil's in the details, and it has to be your choice. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. Thank <laughs> you.